Hey there everybody, in this brief video I want to get you up to speed so that you can download your completed data collection from Qualtrics and then upload it into a shareable and collaborative Excel file. So we go to qualtrics.sdsu.edu, right, that's where our projects are. And as an example here, I have a um, project from several years ago. This would represent, of course, your survey that you've completed. And we go to data and analysis to download our data file. And we simply click on export and import and export the data. We're going to uh, download an Excel file here. Check my other documentation about exactly how you want to download your file. But I'll download numeric values and I'll export the viewing order for randomized surveys. And we download the file and it takes a few seconds. And our file is downloaded to our local machine, wherever your laptop or desktop downloads files. And here's mine right up here. I'm going to rename it really quick. Um, upload. I'll call it Upload Example. So I just remember what that is. OK, so we have the file downloaded. Now we want to get this thing up into a shareable space so that we can collaborate remotely on it as a team, right? So let's go to office.com. And we're going to make sure that we're logged in to our SDSU accounts. And of course, I'm Andrew Baker under a Baker at sdsu.edu. You must have your sdsu.edu account here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually upload our file. And then we just navigate to wherever that is. In my case, I'll navigate to where I had that file saved. We're going to upload this. So now that's going to upload this into my shared or shareable, I should say, OneDrive file. And it opens it automatically as well into the cloud version of Excel. And that works well enough. I'm just going to go back here to original Office page. And for now, of course, since it's the most recently opened file, upload example is just sitting here in the most recent. It'll be wherever you move it or save it to in your OneDrive system. Now what I want to show you here is how to share this so that it can be collaborated, uh, collaborated on in real time with fellow teammates, similar to how a Google Sheets file works. Not exactly the same, but close. So one way to do is we can simply click the share button here. And you can search for people that you can specify that they can edit this. And anybody within the sdsu.edu system can be searched for here. So to illustrate, I'll look up some of my colleagues. So Heather Hone, our Dr. Hone, my department chair. Paula Peter, Dr. Paula Peter, you may have had her. And my colleague, Yana Castro, who teaches retailing. And I could go on and on, right? So the equivalent here would be you finding your fellow student, team members, and letting them share. So now again, once they, you can send them a message. Here is the Qualtrics upload. And I could hit the send button, and that'll send them an email prompt, letting them know that they can now share and collaborate and access this file. Now, I'm not going to send right now because I don't want to alarm my colleagues. They will have no idea why I sent this. That's one way to do it. Now, let me show you one other way that's going to be useful a little bit later in the semester. Note if I click the little dot, dot, dot here, I can open this file not in the browser-based version of Excel, but rather I can actually open it up in my desktop app. So let's go ahead and open that up. So now this is actually opening my fully downloaded and fully installed version of Excel, right? This isn't living in the web browser anymore. Now this is literally Excel as we are typically used to understanding it, but the file itself is synchronized with my um, OneDrive. So if I have shared this file with other people, um, it'd still be synchronized. And similarly, and again, this is the exact same file. It's not a different or not a copy. I could also go up here to the share button in the upper right. And equivalently, I could find individuals to add. So uh, Dr. Hone, and I'm doing the exact same thing. This isn't any different. I'm just showing you that you also can um, invite people from here. And then you could send this invitation out directly from your desktop version. Now, 
once people have accessed your version, they will have access from the cloud. So they'll be interacting with the cloud-based version of Excel, but you can still be on your desktop version, right? So, and then their little icons appear in the upper right-hand corner, which no one's interacting with mine at the time, but their names will start popping up when they're interacting in real time. We're sort of used to this, maybe if you use Google Docs before. And also, it depends on which version of Excel you're dealing with, but in most cases, if someone's interacting, selecting cells, or their cursor is clicking around in different places, you'll also see their cursor clicking around in real time. Again, um, Excel comes in a lot of different flavors. It depends on making sure you have a fully new and updated installed version, and there's a lot of additional sort of if-then sort of conditions, but this allows you as a team to collaborate at once, even though you're remote. Now, now that we have our initially downloaded file uploaded into a shared system, of course, the next step is to clean this file, right? We might want to add some new columns of sort of modified or uh, synthesized variables. We may want to delete some rows. Maybe some of these records are actually, upon closer inspection, invalid, and we want to delete those. So we want to, uh, we want to create that beautiful synthesized file that will be the data file that we all use to then base our more sophisticated analysis on later, right? Having this one grand truth file is very important. So that's the way you can basically do this. If you want some additional tips and tricks about how to synchronize and collaborate using Microsoft Excel, uh, there's plenty of documentation for co-authoring, they call it, or sharing. So just Google that, or if you need any additional tips and help, um, let me know and I will help figure it out for you. All right, take care, everybody.